Hi boys and girls, welcome to my backyard again. The sun is shining, it is a beautiful day, so thank you so much for coming out to join me today. So today we're gonna read a little story together. This is our story right here. The name of this story is called Bear's New Friend. And after we read the story together, boys and girls, I have a little song that we're going to sing where we're going to practice doing some of our beginning sounds. So first, let's start by reading about Bear's new friend. I wonder who it will be. I can't wait. The authors of the story are Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Hmm. Let's see. In the woods, in the sun, on a hot summer day, Bear feels an itching to head out and play. Sounds like this story is going to have some rhyming words in it, doesn't it? Day and play, they rhyme. Look, there's Bear right there. He wants to go out and play. Whoops. He goes to find Mouse, his littlest friend. But just as Big Bear heads around the bend, there's a clatter in the tree. Oh, what could it be? And the bear asks, who? Hmm. He's wondering who does he hear making that clattering sound in the tree? I don't know. Let's find out. Here's Bear over here. Looks like he's looking up into the tree. Bear calls, is that Mouse who hides in the tree? But Mouse scurries up and squeaks, it's not me. Look, there's Mouse right there on top of the rock. Bear scratches his head, who's hiding up there? Mouse shrugs his shoulders. Perhaps it's Hare? Hmm. Hare is another word for a rabbit or a bunny. Do you think maybe it's Hare? Maybe. Mouse starts to shout, come out, friend, come out. And the bear asks, who? Hmm, who is it up there? I don't know. Nobody answers. Who is it, asks bear. They peek in the tree, but nobody's there. Bear cries, no one's here, but where did they go? Then Hare hops along and says, howdy ho. Look, there's Hare right there. So was it Hare up on the tree? It doesn't seem to be, Hare's right there. Something sped fast, going fast, fast, fast. And the bear asks, who? I don't know. Do you have any guesses? Maybe, I don't know. Hare says, let's go follow to see what we see. Bear says, is it Badger? Who else could it be? But there by a log with Gopher and Mole, Badger is peering deep in a hole. There's Badger right there. So is it Badger up in the tree? Nope, it's not Badger. Come, look if you dare. There's someone down there. And the bear asks, who? Oh my goodness, so something was up in the tree and then it went past fast, fast, fast and now it's down in the hole? I don't know. Well, it's not mouse. It's not hare. It's not badger. Oh my goodness. Who could it be? It's not gopher. It's not mole. Who is it? That's what Bear keeps asking. He keeps asking who. Bear says, it's not us, but who is it then? I know, says Badger. It's Raven or Wren. Those are two different kinds of birds, maybe. But Raven and Wren flap down from the sky. Oh, there they are. There's Raven and there's Wren. We saw all her friends and thought we'd fly by. 
Hmm. So it wasn't them that was up in the tree that swooped down into the hole. Up from the ground comes a rustling sound. And the bear asks, who? Who is it? I don't know. There's that hole. Who are you down there? Who is it, I say? Why stay in that hole? Why hide the whole day? Why don't you like us? Why, 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 why? Then a trembling voice says, Because I am shy. Oh, goodness. Who could it be? Someone is feeling shy down in that hole. Two eyes peekaboo, and the voice says, Who? And the bear says, Hi. Oh, the voice said who this time. Huh. I don't know what sort of animal says who a lot. I'm bear, howdy ho. That's mouse and that's hare. And gopher and mole are standing right there. Next to the bushes sit raven and wren. Come swimming with us in the pool by the glen. Please do not hide. Come on outside. Then, do you see him right there? See the two little eyes peeking out? Do you think he's going to come out? I think he might. Sounds like Bear's trying to be a very good friend. Let's see what it is. And an owl! Look, it's an owl came out. Says, who, who, who? Oh my goodness, that's so funny. The entire story, Bear was asking, Who? Who was hiding? And what does the owl say? The owl says, Who? 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 Too. That's funny. It's two different kinds of who. <laughs> I'm so glad the owl finally came out. Hello, I'm Owl, and I'm sorry I hid. I'm just a bit bashful, and that's why I did. Bashful's another word for shy. Bear says, hello, friend. Come on, cries Mole. And they all scamper off to the old swimming hole. Look, there they all are. They're being good friends to the owl. I'm so glad he decided to come out. They splash and have fun in the hot summer sun with Bear's new friend. So who is Bear's new friend? That's right. It's the owl. Good job, boys and girls. That was a great job. I like this story called Bear's New Friend. That was a fun one, wasn't it? So, boys and girls, since we read a story about bear, I thought maybe we could sing a little song together. And it's about a bear. And it's about a bear going over a mountain to see what he could see. So maybe some of you know this song. So it's going to start like this. It's going to go, the bear goes over the mountain, the bear goes over the mountain, the bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. Can you sing that part with me? And then I'll teach you what we're going to do next. Are you ready? Okay, let's sing together. The bear goes over the mountain, the bear goes over the mountain, the bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. And the next part, boys and girls, is we have to see what the bear sees. Just like in our story about Bear's new friend, we have to see what Bear is going to see or what friend he's going to make. So I over here have a whole pile of all these little beanie boos. My goodness, my daughters love these Beanie Boos, especially Caroline. So good thing I have them, huh? So I'm going to take one. And this is going to be the first thing that the bear sees. So who is this? Yeah, this is a cat. That's right. So after we sing about who does the bear see, then we're going to go like this. We're going to practice saying the beginning sound. So if this is a cat, what's the beginning sound? And the word cat, cat, k, k, cat. It's the k, k sound. That's right. So we're going to go k, k, cat. 
That is what he sees. He sees k k cat. That is what he sees. Do you think we can do the whole thing together? All right, I'm going to hide cat like we haven't seen him yet. All right, ready? We'll start with the bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. And what's that? Cat, that's right. K, k, cat, that is what he sees. He sees k, k, cat, that is what he sees. Wonderful job. Now we're going to do it with another animal. Are you ready? We have to start with the bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. Let's see what he's going to see this time. Ooh, what's this one? It's a bat. You're right. Let's say bat with the beginning sound. Ready? B, b, bat. B, b, bat. That is what he sees. He sees b, b, bat. That is what he sees. Wonderful job. There he goes. Let's do it again. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. Oh, it's an elephant. That's right. Let's say it with the beginning sound. Elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. I know some of you at home have the same sound at the beginning of your name. Ready? Eh. Eh, elephant, that is what he sees, he sees. Eh, eh, elephant, that is what he sees. Good job, boys and girls. I hope you're singing along with me at home. You know I don't like to sing by myself. Let's see, we have two more to do. Are you ready? Okay, help me sing. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. What is this one? Hmm. You're right, this is a snail. Let's say it with the beginning sound. S -s -s snail. Good job. Ready? S -s -s snail. That is what he sees. He sees. S -s -s snail. That is what he sees. Fantastic. We have one more to do. Make sure you are singing with me. I want to hear all of your voices with me. You ready? All right, here we go. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain. The bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. This is a tricky one. Ooh, does anyone know what this is? This is a tricky one. This is called a lemur. A lemur. Do you see? He has a striped tail. Whoa. The beginning sound. What's the beginning sound for lemur? Let's do it together. Ready? Oh, oh, lemur. There we go. Are we ready to, answer, to sing the answer? Oh, oh, lemur. That is what he sees. He sees oh, oh, lemur. That is what he sees. Ta-da! Fantastic, boys and girls. You helped me find the beginning sound for l -l lemur. What was this one again? S -s snail. K -k Cat. What's this one? Eh, eh, elephant. And b, b, bat. That was fantastic. I am loving how you were all working so super duper hard on those beginning sounds. And I loved how you all helped me read about Bear's new friends. Okay, boys and girls, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you get outside and play in this gorgeous sunshine. I love you and I miss you all. Bye-bye.